Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be focusing on the ear and we both, all of us have two of them. And uh, we're going to venture off here today and show you, and I'm still learning uh, about the ear myself, And uh, but today I just want to show you a diagram that we have here on the camera. I just want to give you a basic layout of how the ear uh, sets and how it lines up with different parts of our face. And that will help you when you're laying out a pattern to have everything where everything needs to be at. So if you look here on the camera, you notice the top of the ear, it always lines up with the top of the eyebrow. And so when you're placing the ear, really remember that the eyebrow and the top of the ear, they line up perfectly with each other. The bottom lobe of the ear, as you see here on the camera, lines up with the bottom of your nose. And so those are just areas where it will help you line up your face better whenever you're carving an ear. And remember too that whenever you draw on the ear for the uh, left ear, the, you'll, you'll draw a question mark. And then for the right ear, it will be a backwards question mark. And so that's just some things to remind you of whenever you're placing the ear on, on, the, on the paper or on the wood and when you get ready to carve. And so now we're going to jump off here with a piece of basswood here. And I've tried to draw out a little bit. And again, I am not a very good drawer, but we basically uh, blocked in an ear here for you to see. And we'll get it up here to the camera where you can see a little bit better. But there's our question mark. There's our tagus. And that's that little the cartilage that sticks out a little bit there on the side of the ear. And of course, this would be your sideburns. And this would be the eyeball here. And this would be the eyebrow right here. So that lines up perfectly with, your, with the top of your ear. So what we're going to do, safety first always, make sure your glove is on. And uh, we're going to take our, uh, just a V tool here and just do a cut here with the um, V tool. Do a bottom cut and a top cut with uh, your V-tool to just establish, get you some groundwork here just for the bottom and the top of the ear. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the sides and I'm going to lay it on this V-tool a little bit on the side here. All right. And then back here is where the, where the ear begins to bend a little bit. We're just going to put a cut in here. Create the back of the ear. All right, now we're going to take our knife and we're going to put a stop cut here at the top of the ear and at the bottom of the ear. And again, always watch where your fingers are when you're coming across the grain. And my fingers are behind this block, so if the wood did give away, it would not go into my fingers. All right, so I made a stop cut here. At the top, stop cut here at the bottom of the lobe. And now I'm going to put a stop cut right here along the vertical part of the ear. And then back here, we're going to continue to put a stop cut here. And all this is going to, all we're going to do is just try to bring this, we do a little relief carving, what we would call. All right, so this would be your jawline right here. This is the jaw, this is your sideburns, that's your eye, whatever. And so we're going to come in here and start relieving the bottom part come in here and do the top part and get that to stand out just a little bit and we're doing it on a corner and later on we'll, we'll show you how we do it on a full piece but I just want to show you today the basics of an ear and we're coming in here and getting rid of all this excess and taking our V tool here and making these cuts to establish a foundation here to get our ear shaped. All right, let's come in, do a little bit more cuts here and a little bit more here. So we're making a cut there. All right, so we can see that on the camera. We've got the below. Cut the cuts made here below the, the ear and top of the ear. Now we're going to take our pencil and just kind of shave, uh, just draw on here what we're going to shave off with our knife. And you can see that starts giving the shape of our ear, the roundness of it there. So again, we're going to take our knife and start rounding and then dropping the 
front part of the ear, the lobe, or the top of the ear, down just a little bit. I'm going to turn my wood now, and I'm going to do the bottom lobe here, give it a little swoop cut. And again, kind of a little of a question mark there. And now I'm going to take a number three or a number five millimeter U gouge, and I'm going to place it here to create the tagus. And that is the cartilage that kind of sticks out there and uh, creates. And back behind here, behind this, is going to be the inner part of the ear canal. But now I come in and I just start taking my U gouge and going up against that stop cut I made for the tagus and removing that there and going just a little deeper each time. Don't go too crazy here, but just to get a good depth in here to put in all those little lines that we're going to carve in here after a while to create the inner part of the ear. Now, I mean, you could really go deep in here. I mean, I'm putting some pressure here to really make that ear canal really deep there. All right. So, as you can see there, we've got it, the basics laid out there. And again, be careful, you know, always make sure your stop cut is good in there because this could break off, but we're going to reshape this tagist here. And we're going to now take a V-tool, like, oh, about an eighth size V-tool, and we're going to start putting the inner part, or the ridge of the the ear in. Now see, when I went too deep there, the wood started to split. So always make sure when you're making the turn, you lighten up, all right, and then finish out. So you say, well, Van, what do you do there? Well, we just start over. And this is how you fix things. And try it again. And we'll come in here and start taking the edges off a little bit. But now we're going to finish. We're going to come right in here and make our cut with our V-tool to finish out the inner part of the ear. And again, just go over it until you're satisfied with the depth that you like there for that ear. That ear. So every ear is a little different. All right. Some are more shallower, some are more uh, deep, whatever it may be. All right, so, and now we're going to come in here with our U-gouge, and we're going to um, continue to just work this in. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect, perfect in here. We're just, we're going to put in some cuts that will create more depth in the ear. And all we're doing here it's just kind of cleaning that up. All right, let's take our knife here and get rid of some of the pencil marks. I'm going to turn this a little bit. And we're just going to be careful here that we don't break it off a little bit. And we're going to shape that tagus there. And now they don't really stick out too much, but they do stick out some. Again, it depends on the person's ear and the way they were made. All right, so. Now let's come in here and let's kind of clean up the roughness of the inner ear here. And we're not going very deep. And we're just taking our time through here and creating the inner ear more, give some more depth here. Okay, now we're going to take our knife and we're going to make a cut right here. This is kind of some of the lobes of our ears has this little crease in it. And Again, we're going to get rid of any sharp edge on the ear. And like I said earlier, I'm still learning ears, and I try to practice them every day. And some turn out better than others. But that's okay. This is a, this is a journey. It's not a marathon. And so just keep working with your tools. All right, now... We got to make a cut right here, and we're going to shove that part in of the ear in just a little bit to show some depth. And 
And you don't have to go to a lot of detail like I'm doing here. We may carve a cauliflower ear here sometime down the road and give you an idea of what a cauliflower ear looks like. Okay. I'm going to take our knife here and just trim off some of these edges and tone this inner part of the ear down. That looks better. All right. And we're getting to the point here where we're going to put in the inner workings of the ear with the little muscles. And so you'll see here on the camera that we're going to put a cut right here with your V-tool. Come in and remove that. And again, you don't have to show every part of this little ear, but if you're going to do it, try to do it. Put as much detail as you can. And then we're going to come in here and join that and create some of the inner workings parts of it, the little muscles, little layers that we have going on in the ear. Okay, our wood right there is always wanting to give away there for some reason. But we'll just continue to work with it. Remember, if you have a piece that breaks off like that, just take smaller cuts. <sighs> All right. Okay, so now we need to get in here and clean up. You heard the expression, go clean your ears out. Well, this is what we're doing here. We're cleaning our ears. Because for some reason, when I was young, I couldn't hear very well. It may have been because I didn't want to hear. But anyway, we're coming in here just tweaking this ear. And now again, this is going to be the sideburn or anything on the person. And of course, this would all be blended in. We'd be creating the, the jawline here and coming in like so. Let's put a stop cut right here just to show you some more depth here to the ear. <sighs> And we're coming in with our knife and making that lobe stand out just a little bit more. Now, some people's ears really stand out. Some of them really stay pretty close to the, to the side of the head. So whatever person or character you're carving, study the ear best that you can. And so that way, it just won't look like something's just been glued on the side of the head. Study the ear and do the best you can with it. And again, we're just going to come in here and put in some of these little cuts in these little grooves. Some people have more grooves than others. All right, so I think we're about done with this guy. And uh, for now, and of course, you know, down the road, we might even carve an earring for a girl. You know, if you can do that, it'd be a neat little project sometime. But I don't know. We'll see. But we're putting all these little things in just to help make the ear um, part of your project. And, and a lot of times, you know, first time carvers, they will not carve the ears or the hands because it is a challenging uh, piece of the anatomy. But uh, I would encourage you to get in there and try anything you possibly can to make your carving pop. Whether it's putting the ears on or carving the hand, get the hands out of the pocket, put some ears on the side of the head of your carving and it'll really just make your carving more uh, realistic and more uh, re re lifelike. So again, thank you for joining us today, and we appreciate you tuning in. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell button down there at the bottom and, uh, and give us uh, some comments there, and, and we'll see you soon. Happy carving.